OK, this is lesson 7.3, which is called converting within measurement systems. OK, first of all, there are two measurement systems. Two measurement systems. OK, there are two measurement systems. One is called the imperial system. We also call that customary. OK, the imperial system is also the customary system. The second system is called the metric system. OK, now this table here shows you some conversions within each system. So the top is the customary, some conversions, and the bottom is the metric. Now, this is basically how we measure things. We can measure length and feet. Or inches, so right there are 12 inches in one foot. Um, we can measure length in yards, so one yard by 36 inches. 36 inches is going to be three feet, so one yard is also three feet, and so forth, right? Miles, feet, miles, yards. The weight, we, went, we measure weight in pounds, and that's what this LB stands for. LB means Pounds. Okay. And OZ is ounces. Okay, so when you get a 32 ounce soda, you'll see OZ on it. OZ means ounces. Okay. The other thing on the weight is this T, and T means tons. Okay, T stands for a ton. And then you've got like cups, like when you measure something in the kitchen in cups, you also might measure something in ounces. PT is pints, and then there's cups again. QT is quarts, and then you have GAL, which is gallons, okay? So this is the customary measurement system. And then down here, you have the metric system. So we can use those tables to do what's called conversions when you can convert from one unit to another unit, all right? So let's do an example. It says, what is the weight of a three pound human brain in ounces? So basically you have the weight in pounds and you wanna convert that weight to ounces from one unit to another unit. You're going to use these tables, okay? So we were looking for pounds and ounces. So right here you have one pound is 16 ounces. All right, one pound is 16 ounces. So I'm gonna put the ounces on top and the pounds on the bottom. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I have one pound. I'm gonna put the one on the bottom. So one pound is 16 ounces, okay? That's what this tells me. One pound is 16 ounces. One pound, 16 ounces. What I want to know is how many ounces is three pounds. So I'm going to put the three down here where the pounds are, right? So you know how to solve a proportion. That's what I just set up. I set up a proportion. This ratio is equal to this ratio, and there's a missing number, right? So I'm going to multiply the corners like that 16 times 3 and remember you're allowed to use your calculator in this module so if you need to get out your calculator and do 16 times 3 and we get 48 all right 48 now the third number is a one you divide by that third number but when you divide by one you just get the same number so our answer is 48. So what we can say is a three pound brain is 48 ounces. All right, so we basically use this, what's called a conversion table to convert the pounds to ounces, all right? So that leads us to the idea of a conversion factor. Solving with a conversion factor is a little bit like solving proportions, but not exactly, because you know the word factor means multiply. It's a factor is a number in a multiplication problem. 
So if you have a conversion factor, you're going to be multiplying. So let's talk about using this conversion table um, by and, look and using the conversion table to find what's called a conversion factor, okay? So a conversion is a ratio, without some, okay, this should be ratio, the I is missing, okay? A conversion factor is a ratio that you use to multiply you multiply with the conversion factor to convert units, okay? So let's take a look at what that looks like in an example. This example says, Elena wants to buy two gallons of milk, but the store is out of gallon size milk containers. So she has to buy quarts. How many quarts does she need? So here's how a conversion factor works. Basically, you start with gallons. She wants two gallons of milk. So we're going to put gallons over here. And we're going to multiply it times some kind of conversion factor that we have to find in the table. Okay. This is the conversion factor. Remember, it's going to be a ratio that we're going to multiply by. And what we're going to get is quarts. Okay. That's what we want. We want to know. How many quarts does she need? So we want to end our answer. We want to be in quarts, right? So we start with gallons. She wants two gallons. We need to know how many quarts she has to buy to actually get two gallons. And we're going to do that by multiplying the gallons times some conversion factor to turn it into quarts. We want to turn gallons into quarts by multiplying with a conversion factor, okay? So what we're going to do, and we know that we have two gallons from the problem, right? So what we're going to do, and we don't know how many quarts, that's the question. What we're going to do is come up to the table and look for gallons and quarts, okay? And we, uh, it's up here under capacity. Here's gallons and quarts. One gallon is four quarts, okay? Since we want quarts in the end, and we started with gallons, we're actually going to put the quarts on the top. We're going to put the four on the top, four quarts, because that's what we want. We want quarts. And we're going to put the one gallon on the bottom. This is different from setting up a proportion, because here we have the gallons, and we're going to put the gallons on the bottom. And we're multiplying, so it's almost like we're cross-canceling the gallons in a way. It's kind of like that, like kind of like we're cross canceling the gallons. So I'm going to cross cancel the word gallons, and I'm basically just going to multiply two times four, right? And down, if you know, you multiply fractions, this is basically turn that into a fraction. And we have two times four and one times one, which is going to give us eight, eight over one. That is eight quarts, okay? So to the, basically when you use a conversion factor, we find the conversion factor from the table, okay? This, this one we got right here, one gallon is four quarts, all right? We take that conversion factor and we, the way we decide what goes on top and what goes on bottom with the conversion factor is we put, the what we already have, what we already know, two gallons on the bottom. And then we put what we want, quarts, on the top. Okay. We put the gallons in, we put it through the conversion factor, and we get quarts out. So we want the quarts on the top because that's what we want to get out. That's we want our answer to be in quarts. So we put the quarts on top. That's how you use a conversion factor. Okay. So this is lesson 7.3. And we're basically using a conversion factor to convert within a measurement system. All right.